Glaucoma, generally speaking, is a condition when the eye pressure is too high. When the eye pressure is too high, it can cause damage to the optic nerve. When the nerve tissue is damaged, then patient will lose their eyesight. It is a blinding condition. If patient are not, if the glaucoma is not treated properly, then it can cause blindness. Glaucoma treatment generally start with medications. We usually start patient with eye drops, and if the pressure is not low enough, then we will increase the number of eye drops. But if the eye drops is not enough to control the pressure, then we will have to move to the next step, which may be laser treatment or surgery. In terms of glaucoma surgery, there are many different types of glaucoma surgery. The traditional type of glaucoma surgery is to create a window for water to drain out of the eye at the top of the eye. Or we can insert a silicon chip implant for water to drain out of the eye through the physical chip implant. But these operations are quite complex and the recovery time is quite long. So there's another type of glaucoma surgery is called minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. This type of surgery basically try to make use of the, the normal natural physiological drainage from inside the eye to allow more water easier to drain out of the eye in order to lower the eye pressure. So naturally, the water or the aqueous is produced from the tissue inside the eyes called the ciliary body. Then the aqueous is drained away through at the angle of the eye is formed between the iris and the cornea. And, and then from the angle, it, there's a layer of, layer of tissues called the trabecular meshwork that will separate the inside of the eye into the, and the canal. The canal, the, what we call the Schlem's canal, is where the water drain out from the, uh, from the canal into the, uh, the bloodstream so that the water can drain through the trabecular meshwork into the canal and then into the bloodstream. So this is how the eye regulates the eye pressure. So the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery basically is trying to make use of the canal system. It can be either a little stent implant, a metal stent implant to insert into the canal through the trabecular meshwork. So the bypass of resistance in the trabecular meshwork and allow the water to drain into the canal easier or escape from the eye easier. Another type of minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is what we call a, a internal trabeculotomy procedure is to, uh, to actually insert a fiber optic cable into the canal and then open the internal wall of the canal in order to allow water to drain into the canal much easier. And the third type of minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is a laser treatment by inserting a small laser probe into the eye and applying laser onto the ciliary body that will reduce the amount of aqueous production, just like turning down the tap to reduce the amount of water being produced inside the eye in order to lower the eye pressure. But it is the stent procedure and also the trabeculotomy procedure, which is are quite uh, popular at the moment in the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. So the benefit of the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is that the procedure is a lot shorter and much quicker recovery time than the old-fashioned glaucoma surgery. Old-fashioned glaucoma surgery is to create uh, drainage from inside, uh, to create artificial channel or fistula to allow water to drain out from inside the eye into to the outside of the eye uh, through either a, uh, a window uh, made at the top of the eye or through a uh, a silicon chip implant. 
but this procedure are quite complicated and also it will take a long time, a lot longer to perform and the recovery time is longer. So the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is shorter and of a quicker recovery time. And one important benefit is that it can be done, it can be performed together with a cataract operation. So generally speaking, the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery would be recommended to patients who suffer from chronic type of glaucoma, open angle type of glaucoma, who are already on two or three multiple glaucoma eye drops, and when they need to have, and they, and they, they may also have cataract that's affecting the eyesight. So, to, uh, so when they need a cataract operation at the same time, that will be a very beneficial to perform a minimally invasive glaucoma surgery at the same time, because that will add about 10 minutes on top of the existing cataract surgery, but the benefit is the patient may be able to stop the glaucoma medication or reduce the glaucoma medication after the operation or achieving a better pressure control and preventing uh, the uh, pressure causing more damage to the optic nerve and losing more eyesight. So as I said, the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery only takes about 10 minutes longer than uh, 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 10 minutes longer than uh, when we have to, to perform a cataract operation. So we can, the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery can be performed on, the, on their own, but generally speaking, they are commonly performed with the cataract, op, uh, with cataract operation. So the patient who's, who has had minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, generally their recovery time is very fast. Usually, after, after, after the surgery, uh, uh, the vision may be, a bit, uh, may be rather, uh, slightly blurry in the first few days, but then after one or two weeks, the patient should recover their normal vision or even improve if, they, if the surgery was performed together with the cataract operation. Generally speaking, after patient after two, uh, two weeks should return to normal activities. This is, this is in contrast to a routine glaucoma surgery that you may patient may take up to um, uh, one month before the vision can return. Uh, we can recover to near normal level, and sometimes the patient need to take the whole month off from work because of the complexity of the surgery. Therefore, the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is. A, a, is, is, is a fast, very efficient, and is uh, 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 is very effective in terms of lowering eye pressure. But then the long, longevity of the operation may not last as long as a, 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 a more complex glaucoma surgery. We generally speaking, general, generally we expect the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery should last for at least two, uh, uh, two years before uh, before we need to consider further glaucoma treatment um, uh, to improve the pressure control.